good morning. It feels like a very cozy fall morning today. It's been so gloomy outside, which kind of sucks, but it's getting me in the like fall cozy energy. Lighting candles, warm drinks. And I just got my new planner. This is the Enlightenment Planner. I'll link it in the show notes because this is the best planner ever. And I had to get a new one. So I just wrote down like everything I have to do for the week. This is what I love doing on Mondays, just getting organized with weekly goals and then splitting it out by the day. So I'm also getting my hair done today and I'm so excited. It is so long and just like kind of gross right now. My colors like faded out. So I'm gonna go darker and I'm gonna cut some inches off. I don't know how much I'm gonna do yet. Probably some more like face frame and layers, but it is a must. I'm like way over my hair. I feel like I need something fresh, clean, new for like the season. I don't know. I'm just over it and I need a change. So I just got home from the hair salon and here's the finished product. I am so beyond happy with it. I feel like I needed a full change. So this is exactly what we got. I did a little bit more face framing. So like in between kind of curtain bangs and face frame. And then we cut off five inches, which is a lot for me. So crazy. And then we went a little bit darker too with the color. I think you can probably see that here, but I love it. It is actually such a big change for me, but it is so exciting. Finally went to the grocery store to get some stuff. I literally haven't had any groceries for, I don't know, a week now. And I hate that feeling when you open up the fridge and you're hungry and there's like, actually nothing in there. So I did a little Whole Foods haul. I wanna show you guys what I got. Nothing too crazy. I think I'm gonna try to go to the farmer's market on Wednesday to get like a lot of more produce, like the rest of my produce that I need. But I wanted to get like my favorite stuff from Whole Foods, so let's get into it. Starting off with bag number one. I got my favorite brand of eggs. If I'm not getting eggs from the farmer's market, I'll always get Vital Proteins. They're organic, pasture raised. The yolks are always the most orange. So highly recommend this brand from Whole Foods. This Good Culture cottage cheese is actually so good. I'm typically not like a cottage cheese girly, but the dairy in it is very high quality. So sometimes I'll have dairy if I know it's like higher quality dairy, organic. This one has like Cult, live cultures in it, I'm pretty sure. So it's good for your gut and it tastes actually pretty good. So try out this brand if you're gonna have cottage cheese. I got one of my favorite protein shakes too, these Koya protein drinks. This one's the chocolate banana flavor and it is so good. It feels like a treat after a workout sometimes. So like once in a while I'll have this. And then veggie rolls from Whole Foods are a must. Like literally my go-to, I'll probably eat this after I finish this haul. Speaking of the dairy, sometimes I'll get this Greek yogurt. I was kind of craving it. I like this brand and I think full fat is what they're saying now is better to do than reduce fat when it comes to dairy. This hummus is the absolute best. If you know, you know, I post this literally all the time, but it's also sprouted, which means that it's easier to digest. So if you have like a hard time digesting beans or things with like a lot of fiber, having it sprouted like this hummus, it's the Majestic brand can help you. Got some sauces, so tahini, so I can make some homemade tahini sauce. This bar, uh, not barbecue, buffalo sauce from Primal Kitchen is my favorite, so good. Okay, a few other specialty things that I got today. Broccoli sprouts. Broccoli sprouts are actually so good for you, and especially for one thing in particular, which is eliminating excess estrogen from the body. So something I've been working on with my functional doctor, and maybe I'll get into this like later in the vlog, um, is about balancing my hormones and something that can really help with getting rid of excess estrogen since my estrogen levels are pretty high is taking or not taking eating cruciferous vegetables and broccoli sprouts actually have like I forgot what, it, what the number is but way more of the compound in broccoli that helps like with your liver and estrogen excretion and like liver detox so eating broccoli sprouts is gonna be the move and sauerkraut, I love sauerkraut. I always preach about this for gut health. So good for gut health and probiotics. Okay, for produce, I just got a few things. Banana, spinach, avocado. I also got carrots for hormone health. Cucumber, cauliflower, 
apples and I got a sweet potato. I want to do like a sweet potato nourish bowl. Maybe I'll make that tonight. Beets are also so good for you. I like getting them already pre-cooked. So all I have to do is cut it up and put it together. Siete tortillas are always my favorite. This is one of my favorite like frozen meals. Some frozen brown rice. Coconut aminos is basically like a healthier and gluten-free soy sauce. And then three trees almond milk. I've been loving their almond milk. The ingredients are super simple. So that's everything for today. Yeah. <laughs> mash the salmon. Yeah, you have to mash it first. The chokehold that Emily Mariko still has on us. Non-GMO. Where'd you um, get the salmon from? Uh, I local local stream. How'd you make the salmon, Alex? I uh, I caught it with my bare hands. No, how'd you cook it? Oh, how did I cook oh, it? Oh, I made it. Alex didn't make this. Oh, so automated. I, I made it. I made no. it with. Stop. <laughs> no. Mostly love. No, you cannot take this credit. Mostly love. Okay, wait. Um, tell us how you made the salmon because this is looking mighty fine right now. Okay, avocado oil, salt, pepper, we let it marinate. Cook it for about 8 minutes at 400 and broil to liking. cute lately you guys like the most cuddly smush ever i have a meeting in a few minutes it is now almost 9 a.m and today should be a nice day i think it's gonna be pretty productive i'm going to aloe at 11 to work out with this trainer that i know from my men i'm like at an event and he was like do you want to come work out at aloe with me and i was like why not so I have a training session a little bit later, which is why I'm already in my workout clothes. I'm gonna record a podcast later for tomorrow's Pod Wednesday. Um, what else? I don't know. I'll take you guys along with you know whatever's happening on the agenda. I think I'm getting dinner with a friend. I'm not sure where. Also, I'm so not used to my short hair. I keep like touching the ends and I'm like, <gasps> there's nothing else there. It's like so freaky, you know? If you ever do like a big haircut, I cut off five inches, so. It feels like a lot, but it feels like a really nice change, like clean, fresh. I feel so much lighter, like I can finally wear my hair down because it's not like pulling me down. I really don't know what I'm in the mood to eat for breakfast this morning. So I'm just heating up a tortilla and then I'll probably make like some eggs and avocado and a little bit of this cabbage salad that I bought. I have a workout in like an hour and a half and I always like to eat something before I work out. Like I cannot work out on an empty stomach. I feel like I have no energy and then my workout just goes to shit. So something about me is I am always eating before the workout. Always a pre-workout kind of snack really. Or meal, depending on what time it is. I also want to share with you guys something that I've been doing the past few days that I feel like is really making just like a difference on my days. And if you know me, you know that I, that sizzle. If you know me, you know that I like to meditate in the mornings, but my meditations lately have been a little bit different. So what I'm trying to do in the mornings with my meditation now, is I'm trying to really visualize how I want to feel that day and what my intentions are for that day and what i feel like that does it just helps me like put my mindset into a way better place for the rest of the day so for example if i want to feel like energized and inspired and motivated that day i'll literally sit there and visualize myself like feeling that energy and that motivation and i swear it helps hello so I'm picking up the camera again for the first time like all day. 
and that's because it's been to be honest with you guys a little bit of a lower mental health day and i think it's important to share you know not only the good and the exciting things happening in my life but also sometimes the lower days and i typically i guess wouldn't like normally post or like pick up the camera on days that i'm feeling down because i'm just like ugh, nobody wants to like see this or i don't have as like as much like energy to give to you guys but i was already planning on filming today and this week so here we are we're gonna chat about it and i kind of came to a few realizations like through having like, a lower day today and i hopefully i want to share with this with you guys because maybe it'll help if you go through like similar things as i do off i got a matcha and some new cookies these simple mills cookies they're pretty good not my favorite but like pretty good they're kind of like oreos and it definitely helped lift my spirits a little bit getting outside getting a snack getting some matcha so highly recommend if you're like not feeling great to go and do something that you know will like just like elevate your mood but anyways i was talking to my mom because i feel like today i was just getting really down a negative spiral around like worrying and anxiety about the future which normally i don't get that way like anxious about like you know the uncertainty of the future or worrying or whatever but today it really hit me and i don't know why but it was just like a combination of things and i just feel like my anxiety has been worse this past week than normal anyways so it kind of just all came crashing on me today and i was talking to her about it and she kind of helped snap me out of it to the point where i kind of realized a few things about worrying about the future and anxiety about the future a, worrying about the future is literally worrying about something that doesn't exist. And when you really bring yourself back into the present moment, there is no fear and anxiety. It's a full future feeling because we are creating scenarios in our head that literally don't exist. And a great exercise that I've been doing with myself is I am looking back at all the times and situations where I was worried about something in the past. And I look back and I'm like, why did I worry so much? It worked out. That thing I was worrying about didn't even come true. And so I think that's such a good reminder to ourselves, like whenever you find yourself worrying about something that doesn't exist or anxious about the future, look back at all the past situations you've gone through where you were really worried about something or really anxious and remind yourself that it always works out the way it's supposed to, probably worked out even better than you could have imagined. And the thing you were worrying about didn't even happen. It just is in our mind. And so you kind of have to like snap yourself out of it and just be like, there's literally nothing to worry about. And I know it's so easy to get anxious about the future, but grounding yourself back into the present moment and like really trusting in the universe or trusting in God, if you're religious, whatever it is for you, um, just really helps me get grounded again of like really trusting in the universe and just knowing that things are always gonna work out in my favor. Even if it doesn't feel like it in this present moment, that's okay. I have that really strong trust and belief that it will later on and that it is working out for me. So maybe this will help you. Um, but know that you know good days happen bad days happen life is like this life is cyclical It's not always gonna be sunshine and rainbows um, And I'm gonna try to share more of like, you know the ups and downs that happen in my day-to-day -day life because I am not perfect I am not happy all the time like things happen shit happens. I struggle with mental health sometimes too, but it's normal It's really normal. It's okay to have not as great days and i'm here to share that with you so i hope this helps and now that i got that off my chest i am gonna film or i'm about to record a podcast episode i'm really excited for this one it's gonna be like a full big sis chat seven different topics seven things i wish i knew earlier in my 20s since i'm feeling motivated to share some advice and things that i think can help you guys so listen to the podcast if you haven't yet it's gonna be up by the time this is out Today, I'm going to be making a sweet potato breakfast hash. I thought it just sounded good and I had a sweet potato on hand. So I was like, you know what? Why not try making a new like savory breakfast? And I love making breakfasts like these because it's so easy to get a bunch of nutrients in and get a bunch of veggies in even like in the morning. First things first, you just need to chop a sweet potato up into cubes, which is what I've done here. And I'm gonna cook that a little bit and add some other veggies and spices. All right, so now we're gonna add some spinach, bell pepper, and an onion. She looks so good. So basically what I did is I just cooked a bunch of veggies, sweet potato, pepper, onion, spinach. And then once I seasoned, seasoned them and they were done cooking, 
I cooked the eggs in like two little nooks and then I'm gonna put it to a plate with some avocado topped with some chopped green onion, salt and pepper. It looks so good. Okay, so I'm getting ready now in the car for this dinner tonight hosted by Instagram. So that should be interesting. I have no idea what to expect, but it's in downtown and we just went to Maru, a really good coffee spot. It's your favorite coffee spot. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that we could finally try it. And then this dinner at this place called Bavel. I've been there before, but like, I think like two years ago at this point and it was really good so i'm excited to go back uh i'll take you guys along we'll see how it goes i don't know i'm kind of nervous that's crazy <laughs> do you have anything you want to say to the vlog um uh the last time i appeared on one of these uh, it was a tiktok not a vlog okay whatever it was natalia's vlog oh it was natalia's vlog last time i was on one of these vlogs people <laughs> came at me in the comments section <laughs> Uh, well, explain what you did. There's a reason why. I stuck noodles in a melted candle. Okay, we were at Elefante, like a nice restaurant in LA, eating pasta. Literally at this nice restaurant and you were hammered. Mm, yes. I was, I was, I was sloughed. This is in your drinking days. Back in my drinking days. I'm, 2022's most changed individual on this planet, but uh, I ate some wax and, and like a little noodle. He, he literally took rigatoni. He took the pasta, put it in the candle, then ate it, and then goes, "I'm gonna crap a candle." These are roasted noodles. Oh. Hold on, I'm not done. Stop! No, you're not. You're not eating that. I'm gonna crap a candle. <laughs> literally gonna crap a candle. We've had, we've had a night. Literally we've had a ready night. for bed. And then I crapped a literal candle. <laughs> it was a sandalwood cedar wood mixed with like some. It was good. Mm mm. Uh uh. Not very good. It was delish. So now we're both here and we're doing our makeup. Um, mine was. I just did a little light touch up. Mm -hmm. She. Use a little bronze. <laughs> You're getting a little white. No. Okay, final look. I would say it's pretty good for um, you know fixing it up in the car, and pretty natural minimal stuff. I'm also obsessed with the new hair. If you've been thinking about chopping your hair, doing something different for the fall, this is your sign to do it. Because I was feeling really like just in a rut with my hair, and I wasn't loving it. And then now I did this. And I'm a lot happier. Just feels different, new, fresh. I woke up so exhausted this morning for whatever reason, but I took that as a cue to let my body rest. I kind of took a break from like my routine this morning. I wasn't forcing myself to get up super early and like, you know, meditate, movement, all that good stuff that I love doing. It just goes to show that sometimes you need a rest. You know what I mean? You gotta give your body rest. You gotta have balance. We're not robots. We're not meant to be go, 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 go all the time. So I'm really learning to like lean into that energy more and it's been great. Anyways, this is gonna conclude a very fun week in my life vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for being here and I'll catch you in the next video. Sending love.